Hi, uh, I'm Neil Ward Dutton and I work for IDC in Europe. I lead our AI and our business automation research practices. Now I'm going to be recording and sharing uh, weekly short videos where uh, the idea is to share with you some recent research we've been doing, some conversations we've had, some ideas that we're lo looking to explore. Welcome to the first one. Now as part of my research for doing these videos, I looked at what some other people are doing and I saw one uh, I saw one video series where a guy sits behind the wheel of his Tesla and he talks about how he's become successful. And I, I saw one where uh, someone is kind of jogging around in Lycra talking about grit and determination and probably yoga. Um, and I'm not trying to sell you a lifestyle though, which is, which is lucky because I drive an 11 year old Skoda currently parked around the back of the house and it's covered in seven kinds of bird crap. But let's kick things off by by talking about what we're seeing regarding AI and automation investment and how that's changing in the current situation. A couple of weeks ago we had a, a great session with our AI Research Innovation Council. Now we run a number of these in Europe and each one of these brings together a handful of um, startups and scale-ups based in Europe and they really help us keep our finger on the pulse of what's going on with uh, technology and market developments. So they're really really useful things. Um, now, this session was focused on the impact of COVID-19 uh, and what we heard was really quite consistently clear. In the first quarter, uh, business was, uh, was still strong for most, although consistently people were saying that larger projects were being reconfigured. Interestingly though, this wasn't about canning projects or kicking them into the long grass, but rather customers were looking to reconfigure those projects and break them down into smaller chunks so that they could start delivering value quicker. Our council members remain cautious about the rest of 2020, not surprisingly, but broadly there's also a sentiment that spending is, is really likely to rebound and, and in the medium term organisations are going to prioritise spending on AI and automation. And we, we really feel that that's uh, at least in part because there's a strong association between uh, AI and automation and driving business resilience. Now, this is borne out by the bi-weekly uh, tech buyer sentiment survey that IDC is running at the moment, which shows that although many industries uh, predict a short-term contraction in, in their spending on AI, and in fact on almost all kinds of technology, um, they also expect a strong rebound. Financial services appears to be the place where the, the break is going to be applied strongest, but here too, there's an expectation of a strong rebound. So that's a quick update on what we're seeing uh, around AI and automation in Europe regarding COVID-19. I'll be back next week and I look forward to sharing more ideas with you. Would love to get your input, love to get your comments. Please, if you'd like to, do subscribe, do share this and I look forward to your input. Thanks for watching.